SMPTE 292 is a digital video transmission standard published by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers which expands upon SMPTE 259 and SMPTE 344 allowing for bit rates of 1.485 Gbit S, and 1.485-1.001 Gbit S. These bit rates are sufficient for and often used to transfer uncompressed high-definition video. This standard is usually referred to as HDSDI. It is part of a family of standards that define a serial digital interface based on a coaxial cable, intended to be used for transport of uncompressed digital video and audio in a television studio environment. The A Euro OE Ma Euro designator was originally introduced to signify metric dimensions. It is no longer used in listings or file names. Units of the International System of Units are the preferred units of measurement in all SMPTE engineering documents. Technical details, the SMPTE 292 standard is a nominally 1.5 bit S interface. Two exact bit rates are defined. 1.485 bit S, and 1.485-1.001 bit S. The factor of 1 slash 1.001 is provided to allow SMPTE 292 to support video formats with frame rates of 59.94 Hz, 29.97 Hz, and 23.98 Hz, in order to be upwards compatible with existing NTSC systems. The 1.485 bit S version of the standard supports other frame rates in widespread use, including 60 Hz, 50 Hz. 30 Hz, 25 Hz, and 24 Hz. The standard also defines nominal bit rates of 3 Gbit S, for 50 60 frame per second 1080p applications. This version of the interface is not used. Instead either a dual link extension of SMPTE 292M known as SMPTE 372 or a version running twice as fast known as SMPTE 424 is used for for example 1080p60 applications. Equals electrical interface equals, originally, both electrical and optical interfaces were defined by SMPTE, over concerns that an electrical interface at that bit rate would be expensive or unreliable and that an optical interface would be necessary. Such fears have not been realized, and the optical interfaces are seldom if ever used, and are likely to be deprecated in future revisions of the standard. The cabling used for the SMPTE 292 electrical interface is coaxial cable with a nominal impedance of 75 by copyright. Data is encoded in NRZ format and a linear feedback shift register is used to scramble the data to reduce the likelihood that long strings of zeros or ones will be present on the interface. The interface is self-clocking. Framing is done by detection of a special synchronization pattern, which appears on the serial digital signal to be a sequence of 21s followed by 40 zeros. This bit pattern is not legal anywhere else within the data payload. The SMPTE 292 digital interface is known to be reliable at cable lengths of 100M or greater. Equals data format equals, the corresponding parallel data formats, defined by SMPTE 274, SMPTE 296, and several other standards, are 20-bit standards. Thus SMPTE 292M uses a 20-bit word size. Each 20-bit word consists of two 10-bit datums, coming from two logical data channels, one which encodes luminance video samples, the other which encodes chrominance information. The C channel is further time multiplexed into two half-brandwidth channels, known as CR, and CB. The nominal deterrent of the Y channel is 75 mord sec, and the nominal deterrent of each of the two chroma channels is 37.5 mord sec. Video payload may use any 10-bit word in the range 4 to 1019 inclusive. The values 0 to 3 and 1020 to 1023 are reserved and may not appear anywhere in the payload. These reserved words have two purposes, for synchronization packets, and for ancillary data headers. Synchronization packets, a synchronization packet occurs immediately before the first active sample on every line, and immediately after the last active sample. The synchronization packet consists of four 10-bit words. 
the first three words are always the same year Euro 0 x 3 FF, 0, 0. The fourth consists of three flag bits, along with an error correcting code. As a result, there are eight different synchronization packets possible. Synchronization packets must occur simultaneously in both the Y and C data streams. The flags bits found in the fourth word are known as H, F, and V. The H bit indicates the start of horizontal blank. And synchronization bits immediately preceding the horizontal blanking region must have H set to 1. Such packets are commonly referred to as end of active video, or EAV packets. Likewise, the packet appearing immediately before the start of the active video has H set to 0. This is the start of active video or SAV packet. Likewise, the V bit is used to indicate the start of the vertical blanking region. An EAV packet with V equals 1 indicates the following line is part of the vertical interval, an EAV packet with V equals 0 indicates the following line is part of the active picture. The F bit is used in interlaced and progressive segmented frame formats to indicate whether the line comes from the first or second field. In progressive scan formats, the F bit is always set to 0. Other than the fact that synchronization packets occur in parallel in two data streams, their behavior is virtually identical to the packet types defined in CCIR 601 and SMPTE 259, the digital interface commonly used for SDTV. Line counter and CRC, to provide additional robustness, the four samples immediately following the EAV packets contain a cyclic redundancy check field, and a line count indicator. The CRC field provides a CRC of the preceding line, and can be used to detect bit errors in the interface. The line count field indicates the line number of the current line. Ancillary data, like SMPTE 259, SMPTE 292 supports the SMPTE 291 standard for ancillary data. Ancillary data is provided as a standardized transport for non-video payload within a serial digital signal. It is used for things such as embedded audio, closed captions, timecode, and other sorts of metadata. Ancillary data is indicated by a three-word packet consisting of 0, 3FF, 3FF, followed by a two-word identification code, a data count word, the actual payload, and a one-word checksum. Other than in their use in the header, the codes prohibited to video payload are also prohibited to ancillary data payload. Video payload, within the active portion of the video, the data words correspond to signal levels of the respective video components. The luminance channel is defined such that a signal level of 0 MV is assigned the code word 64, and 700 mV is assigned the code word 940. For the chroma channels, 0 MV is assigned the code word 512, minus 350 MV is assigned a code word of 64, and plus 350 MV is assigned a code word of 960. Note that the scaling of the luma and chroma channels is not identical. The minimum and maximum of these ranges represent the preferred signal limits, though the video payload may venture outside these ranges. For portions of the vertical and horizontal blanking regions which are not used for ancillary data, it is recommended that the luma samples be assigned the code word 64, and the chroma samples be assigned 512, both of which correspond to 0 MV. It is permissible to encode analog vertical interval information without breaking the interface, but such usage is non-standard. Conversion of analog sync and burr signals into digital, however, is not recommended a euro, and neither is necessary in the digital interface. Emmy Award On July 31, 2013 it was announced that SMPTE won a Technology and Engineering Emmy Award for 2013 by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. The honor recognized the Societia Euro unregistered trademark S work on development, standardization, and productization of SMPTE 292. See also, Serial Digital Interface. Further reading, Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, SMPTE 274M2005, Image Sample Structure, Digital Representation and Digital Timing Reference Sequences for Multiple Picture Rates. Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, 
SMPTE 292M 1998, Bit Serial Digital Interface for High Definition Television, Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, SMPTE 291M 1998, Ancillary Data Packet and Space Formatting, Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, SMPTE 372M 2002, Dual Link 292M Interface for 1920. X1080 Picture Raster. References